Hi, my name is George Peters. I'm one of the owners and operators of the Ultimon. You know, when I started out as a grip 30 years ago, just to do a basic dolly move or any kind of walk and talk was very difficult. Now we can just drive up and shoot whatever we want. We've gone from Volkswagens to Mercedes to now we're, we're mounting on an off-road truck with 36 inches of travel. And the key grips are coming up with some interesting ways to mount the cranes. Like on James Bond, we mounted it on a boat. In the design portion of the crane, the back of the crane is flexible from the front of the crane. They're separate, actually. So the back of the crane can absorb the energy as you go over the bumps, up and down the bumps, and it doesn't translate the disturbance to the image on the other end of the crane. In Batman, we use the IMAX camera, and that's we built the custom head for these IMAX cameras. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. And we'll be getting your uh, gyro verticals from here. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I'll talk to you. Goodbye. you can put. Say you wanted to film from a moving car. Should be simple, right? Just point and shoot. But here's what your footage would look like. Now, here's another drive, but shot with a difference. What makes the footage look this good? A technical breakthrough called Ultimate Arm. This can move a camera like a roller coaster. But no matter how wild the move, the ride will still feel as smooth as glass. We can take the ultimate arm and literally drive off of a curb and continue shooting, and you don't even know we went off the curb. It's stable. It can take any kind of film or video camera. It can operate from anything that moves. You've seen the results of shooting with ultimate arm in action films, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and in this film. The ultimate project has to be Batman Begins. We were there for seven weeks, all nights, in Chicago. There was really no downtime. They impressed everyone, even people working outside the film business. I was talking to the police officer before we were shooting, 
and he knew we were shooting in Lower Wacker Drive, and he said to me, the fastest you're probably gonna go is 60, 55, 60 miles an hour, or it's just gonna be too dangerous with that crane. And at our first take, we were doing 95. And I came back, I said, well, that was 95. <laughs> he couldn't believe it, actually. Built from titanium, aluminum, and magnesium, without the batteries and support gear, Ultimate Arm weighs only 140 kilos. We worry about grams of weight, not ounces, grams. Everything is as light as it possibly can be. Ultimate Arm tilts, pans, and can extend out to almost seven meters, or pull back to four. It can rotate 360 degrees in five seconds. In the hands of an expert, it gets as close as two and a half centimeters to the action. The arm is controlled with a joystick from inside the specially modified Mercedes-Benz. The crane is very difficult to operate. It's user-friendly, but when you're one inch from something at 90 miles an hour, it's hard to judge distance uh, to objects, light poles, mailboxes, things like that. And accelerate. Operating Ultimate Arm is a highly coordinated team effort that blows away any video game. It's the most intense thing that you can do when everyone is focused. It has to be a team. Even though film is a moving art form, this business was once all about standing still. But film pioneers Auguste and Louis Lumiere unwittingly broke the mold. When the Lumiere brothers made their first shows, which were really demonstrations that they could do moving film, they never thought to move the camera. But in one of their programs, they go to Venice, and the camera actually goes on a gondola, and it, it moves. And it's one of the first times we have any instance of a moving camera. It was decades before the invention of devices like dolly tracks and cranes. Sure, they moved the camera, but even they seem dated when compared with the cutting edge technology of Ultimate Arm. And it was this desire to find the fastest, smoothest device that consumed George Peters from an early age. I started as a grip at 16 years old working with my brother and was really interested in camera motion. I thought that camera motion was the cornerstone of our industry, but we were in the stone age. He knew what the industry needed, but he was no rocket scientist. He found one in Lev Yastratov, a Russian professor now living in Hollywood. This is a brilliant mind. He is an absolute out-of-the-box thinker. When I was a young engineer, a young man back in Moscow, it was no way to imagine for anybody to go to the United States and work, in, work for film industry. When Lev and his team designed Ultimate Arm, they deliberately left something out. Our engineers have come, out, come up with a, a brilliant idea to separate the back of the crane from the front of the crane. So the crane's flexible like this. It flexes, it's three-dimensional flexible. It flexes right, left, and up and down. Lev and his team drew some of their inspiration from a different kind of hardware. This camera system works on similar principles that stabilize a mounted gun on a tank. Um, gun supposed to be independent from uh, tank motion to be accurate to shoot. This camera is supposed to be independent from the Mercedes crane motion to be able to compose image and keep image stable. Okay, when you can't pick up. No matter how much carrier is moving or jumping, our camera is following to the cameraman fingers motion. Directors love Ultimate Arm because it allows them to make their fastest dreams come true. We drive it out of the trailer, and in 20 minutes, if the camera's ready, we're ready to shoot. And then at night, we drive it in the trailer, turn the switches off, and we're ready to shoot the next morning. Saving time is huge in the, in the film business. Time is money, and every minute, is a lot of money when you're making a big feature. But George and Lev are not in this game just to save time or money. Well, when you're developing equipment at that level where you're up for an award, it's the most important thing that could ever happen to somebody. It, it's not that you win any money or any financial gain or anything like that, but it's, it's in your heart that you feel, wow, we did something that's making a difference. 